Hello world, my name is Kelthos, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play of Mass Effect. I've never played this game before, and my friend kept telling me I should play this, and that it's really awesome and everything, so I decided to give it a try, and I knew it would be awesome because, I mean, it looks really interesting and everything from what I've seen, and I know that there's a newer version of this out, but I don't have it, and this is the 2007 version. I don't know what's different or if there is anything different besides like graphics and stuff obviously. Let's see if the sounds are okay. I turned the music way down because it was super loud but if it's not loud enough I'll turn it back up. I can adjust that on my end too but uh, you guys will have to let me know if the resolution is okay because it didn't have the resolution that my monitor has and so I went into the settings and I changed it to as close to what I could get as I could but you'll have to you guys will have to tell me if it looks stretched out or anything like that and I'll see in the recording too but and then I'll fix it for the next episode and the same goes with the sounds and stuff please let me know about that too anyway I've already wasted like a minute of this video so let's get into this welcome to Alliance military <clears throat> database thank you classified information requested Oh, classified eh? Uh, let's connect to the database establishing secure connection Secure, Secure connections, connections are always good. Confirmed. John Shepard. I know that this guy's name is Shepard. I didn't know what his first name was. Due to your COVID, covert N7 status, ID records are incomplete. Please confirm identity from the records below or register manually. Manually enter career info and physical stats into the Normandy crew database or confirm your ID as Commander John Shepard Alliance Marines. I don't know what the difference is here, so let's find out. Enter new ID, custom male, custom female, quick start, jump right into the action as a male, create a custom male character. I think it'd be more fun if Please I created a custom to one. Access your profile. I know his name is John Shepard, let's just leave it as John Shepard I guess. Connection established. Sending. Okay. But anyway, I don't know very much about this game. I know there's a group called Reapers that are Warning. bad, but Data that's about all I know. Detected. Uh oh. My dad has already Please been corrupted, and I haven't even. Profile. <laughs> um. Confirm pre-service history. Sorry, I was distracted there. But anyway, I was going to say my dad is already corrupted, and I haven't even started yet. Both of your parents were in the Alliance military. Your childhood was spent on ships and stations as they transferred from posting to posting, never staying in one location for more than a few years. Follow your parents' footsteps. Following your parents' parents' footsteps, you enlisted at the age of 18. That's for spacer. Colonist, you were born and raised on Mindior, a small border colony in the Attica Tra Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Min, 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 Minador or Mindor, slaughtering your family and friends. You were saved by a passing alliance patrol, and you enlisted with the military for a few years. A few years later, you were an orphan raised on the streets by a great of the great metropolis covering Earth. You escaped the life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the alliance military. I'm between the Spacer one or the Earthborn one. Let's just do Earthborn because I am from Confirm Earth. Confirm psychological <laughs> so, profile. Soul survivor. During the during your service, a mission you were you were on went horribly wrong. Trapped in an extreme survival situation, you had to overcome physical torments and psychological stresses that would have broken most people. You survived while all those around you fell, and now you are alone and left to tell the tale. Early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming em enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat the enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism ha have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Ruthless. Throughout your military career, you have held fast 
to one basic rule, get the job done. You've been called cold, calculating, and brutal. Your reputation for ruthless efficiency makes your fellow soldiers wary of you, but when failure is not an option, the military always goes first. Goes to you first. Um, I'm gonna go with War Hero. I don't know. I did to keep his name John just because I've Confirm never played this before. military specialization. And I was gonna go with Kelthos, but that doesn't really make sense since I can't change his last name. Uh, let's see what I want here. I want to be a soldier, an engineer, an adept, or an infiltrator, a sentinel, or a vanguard. Soldiers are the combat specialists ideal for the front lines of a firefight. Soldiers get improved health, can train in the use of all weapon types, start with the ability to use medium armor, and can specialize in heavy armor. I usually do soldierish type stuff or warriors or whatever. Engineers are tech specialists using holographic omni tool. They can decrypt security systems, repair or modify technical equipment, disrupt, disrupt enemy weapons and shields, and heal their squad. Engineers can only use light armor and can only receive weapon training with pistols. Adepts are biotic specialists through upgradable implants. They can use biotic power lifts to lift or throw objects, biotic powers, to lift or throw objects, shield the squad, and disable or destroy enemies. Adepts can only use light armor and can only receive weapons training with pistols. Uh, infiltrators combined combine combat and tech abilities to specialize in killing or disabling enemies at long range. Infiltrators are trained to use omni tools focusing on descript description and offensive abilities rather than healing. They can use pistols or sniper rifles or and medium armor. Sentinels combine biotic and tech abilities. Typically they use biotic abilities and advanced healing skills to defend their allies though they can also disrupt opponents with biotic or tech attacks they are more efficient at tech and biotics than any other class but at the expense of combat sentinels can only be can only use light armor and receive no advanced weapon training no i don't want that one vanguards are biotic warriors they combine biotic and weapons to take down opponents and are especially deadly at short range they use pistols and shotguns and can specialize in medium armor i'm between the soldier one or the vanguard the difference is what they get improved health and use all weapon types and start with the ability to use medium armor and can specialize in heavy. These guys can specialize in medium and they use pistols and shotguns, but I like that they can use biotic powers too. Uh, I don't know. Hang on while I figure this out. Alright, after a while of considering, I think I'm going to go with Confirm soldier. facial identification. <clears throat> Um, I should go with how he normally looks, but I think I'm going to change his appearance and see what I can go with here. Hang on. Let's see what the presets are here. I don't want any of those. Eh, none of them are particularly, particularly appealing. Hmm. Wow, this is more than I want to get into here. I couldn't really get him to look the way that I wanted exactly, but I guess this is as close as I'm gonna get. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter that much, but it's not ideal. It's my, it's my thing about it. But anyway, profile finalized. reconstruction <clears throat> complete. Yep. Except, once you confirm your character is complete, you will be unable to change any settings. Confirm. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty. Let's go with normal. Let's see what they say though about these. They don't say anything, okay, normal. Auto level up, adjust whether points are automatically or manually signed each time a character advances in level. I'd rather it be like off so I can just manually do it, but I think I'll just leave it on squad only just because that's what it was on. So I feel like that's like the recommended setting. So target assist, normal, adjusts combat, difficulty by helping the player to aim at targets high means you get lots of help low means you get very little yeah I don't want I don't want lots of help because I don't want it to be like super easy I'm gonna turn subtitles on of course squad power usage determines which skills and talents squad members will use in combat active defensive only I'm just gonna leave it on active 
autosave. This will save your game automatically and periodically without prompting you. Each time the game saves for you, it will overwrite and erase the old autosave file. If the autosave is set to off, you must save your games manually. Okay. Loading. I'm sorry I spent like half the... Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He I'm was raised on the street. Play and then I'll learned play. to look out for himself. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy What's forces the on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason the Lysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. In the year 2048, explorers on Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization. In the decades that followed, these mysterious artifacts revealed startling new technologies enabling travel to the furthest stars. The basis for this incredible technology was a force controlled by the very fabric of space and time. They called this... Damn it, I missed it. Uh, sorry, I was reading that really fast. I was trying to get it all done because I, when those things come up, I tend to read them too slow, and then the Arcturus Prime it skips relays it. in range, initiating like transmission sequence. Commander. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. But yeah, what I was Relay saying is. is I'm sorry that I spent like half the episode like trying to set this up, but I wanted to do it blind and have you guys have my reaction and see my settings and all that. So, and I feel like the music is way too loud still, so I'm gonna turn it down more. Board is green. Approach run has begun. But you guys will have to let me know for sure. Ready to go somewhere in the years 2040, 2148. Hitting the relay in three, two, one. Whoa. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. It's very dark. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters <laughs> are trouble. I don't like having them on board. I don't know what specters Call are. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. That's true. Yeah, I mean, you gotta keep an eye story, on your investments. But only an idiot believes the official story. I agree. You're overreacting or cut the chatter. You're overreacting. Um, hmm. I don't know. Really. Because I can't say I agree because I don't know. Um, I'm just going to say you're overreacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Hmm. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Uh-oh. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the calm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? Is he upset? I heard, or you made him mad? I'll just say I heard. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me, or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. <laughs> Press zero. To access the codex, or is that O? Oh, it's O. Oh. Player tutor tutorials, instructions, and tips on how to play Mass Effect for the PC. Let's do that. Basic controls. WASD. 
to interact with objects, push E, blah, blah, blah. Hang on one second, I'm just gonna read this. I'll just read that as I go, I guess, over the player tutorial one. So, personal history summary. You were born on Earth, but you never knew your parents. A child of the streets, you learned to live by your wits and guts, surviving in the hidden underbelly of the metropolises of humanity's homeworld. Eager to find a better life, you joined the Alliance military when you came of age. You were on shore to... You were on shore leave at Elysium when the first wave of the Skylinian Blitz struck. A massive coalition force of slavers, crime syndicates, and Batarian warlords attacked the human colony determined to wipe it out. You rallied the, human, the civilization inhabitants, leading them in their desperate fight to hold off the invaders. When enemy troops broke through the colony's defenses, you single-handedly held them off and sealed the breach. After hours of brutal fighting, reinforcements finally arrived and the enemy broke ranks and fled. Because of your actions, Elysium was saved and you are regarded throughout history as Alliance, or er, throughout the Alliance as a true hero. I don't know where I got history from. Humanity and the Systems Alliance, okay? 20... In, in 2069, Armstrong Outpost of Shackleton Crater becomes the first human settlement on Luna. It is formally founded on July 24th, the 100th anniversary of the first lunar landing. One, or 2103, Lowell City in Eos Chasm becomes the first human settlement on Mars. 2037, 2137, Eldfell Ashland Energy Corporation demonstrates helium-3 fuel extraction from, from the atmosphere of Saturn. 2142, construction of G Gagarian Station Jump Zero begins beyond the orbit of Pluto. 2148, prospectors discover the Proethean ruins at Promethea Platinum on or Planum on Mars. 2148-49, translation of Perithian data leads humans to Charon Mass Relay Systems Alliance founded to coordinate exploration and, civil and colonization of extrasolar worlds. Okay. Primary. Aliens Council Roughly races. 1200 years ago, the Turians were invited to join the Citadel Council to fulfill the, the Turians, role of galactic eh? peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel space, and they make up the single largest portion of the Council's military forces. Okay. As their territory and influence has spread, the Turians have come to rely on the Salarians for military intelligence and the Asari for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude towards the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline and possesses a strong sense of personal and collective honor. Okay, so there is super lingering uptight. animosity between Turians <laughs> and humans over the first contact war of 2157 which is known as the Relay 314 incident to the Turians. Officially, however, the two species are allies, and they enjoy civil, if cool, diplomatic relations. At least they're civil. Okay. The Systems Alliance <clears throat> is an independent supranational government representing the interests of humanity as a whole. The Alliance is responsible for the governance and defense of all extrasolar colonies and stations. The Alliance grew out of the various national space programs as a matter of practicality. Sol's planets had been explored and exploited through piecemeal national Sol must efforts. Be our main planet. The expense of colonizing entire new solar systems could not be met by any one country. With humans knowing that alien contact was inevitable, there was enough political will to jointly fund an international effort. That's Still, good. the Alliance was often disregarded by those on Earth until the first contact war. While the national governments dithered and bickered over who should lead the effort to liberate Shanxi, the Alliance fleet struck decisively. Post-war public approval oh, the gave the Alliance the credibility to establish its own parliament and become the galactic face of humanity. Okay. So they're like our representatives. Humanity's representatives. Okay.
I'm sorry that this episode didn't really have a whole lot. I'm just trying to get used to the game and set it up the way I want. And I wanted you guys to see my reaction, like, blind and not even starting the game or testing it out or anything. So you guys will have to let me know how it worked and if you guys are enjoying it or not. But yeah, in the next episode we will continue on and hopefully get into the meat of this game and see what's going on there. We'll check out this journal thing too and see what that has to do with anything. And yeah, I want to thank you all for watching and if you like what you see I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day. And if you really like the videos I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment. That way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care. And if you want to see when I post my videos exactly when I post them the best way to do that is to turn on your notifications as well. I will talk to y'all later. Bye bye.